Hi everybody! Today we're going to play a game called Patterns Undercover. And this is a really great game for practicing patterns for pre-K-3 kids especially. Um, because this asks our grown-ups, our older siblings, to start the pattern and then for our pre-K kids to finish it. And that is one of our goals for them at the end of pre-K-3. So this is right on target for that. And I'll show you how it's done. All you'll need for this activity are some small items from your house that you can make a pattern with and something to cover them up with. So I actually just grabbed some of my dog's treats here and an old takeout container. So you don't need anything fancy for this. You can use small toys for it. Something like little Legos would be perfect or if you have teddy bear counters um, or just toys of different colors. Anything like that is perfect. But I'm just using some random household items to show you um, that this can be done regardless of the materials that you have at your house. All right, let's get started um, playing patterns undercover. So here I've made a pattern. Okay, and then the last item in my pattern is under this cup. Okay, so we're gonna start off by saying this pattern together, and then you're gonna tell me what is under this cup here. All right, let's say it together. Orange, gray. Orange, gray. Orange, gray. Orange, so what's under the cup? Remember that patterns repeat over and over. Let's say the pattern one more time through. It goes orange and then always gray. Orange, gray. Orange, gray. Orange, let's see if you're right, gray. Gray was the last color we needed to complete our repeating pattern. Let's try another one. All right, so here I have a little pile of snacks. This is a game you can also play at snack time if you're having a snack with a couple different items. So here I have walnuts and Cheerios, and I'm gonna start making a pattern. You go Cheerio, walnut. Cheerio, walnut. Cheerio, walnut. Cheerio, walnut, Cheerio. All right. So before I started making this pattern, I put one item under the cup. Okay, let's see if you can figure out which one is under here. It, it's a part of my pattern. Remember, patterns repeat over and over. Our pattern is Cheerio, walnut. Cheerio, walnut. Cheerio, Walnut, Cheerio, Walnut, Cheerio. If you're not sure what should come next, let's take another look. Hmm, we have a Cheerio here. What always comes right after Cheerio? Let's see, Cheerio and then Walnut. Cheerio, Walnut, Cheerio, say it with me, Walnut. Cheerio, Walnut, Cheerio. Walnut, exactly right. All right, let's do it one more time. All right, last one. For this one, we're gonna use quarters and dimes. So quarters are a little bit bigger, dimes are smaller. All right, so for this one, I've already put one of our coins under the container. All right, I'm gonna start making our pattern. You can say it with me. Dime, quarter. Dime, quarter, dime, quarter, dime. Our patterns repeat, so it's gonna be the same forwards and backwards. Now we're gonna go this way. Dime, quarter, say it with me. Dime, quarter, dime, quarter, dime. Let's see if you're right. Quarter. Right, so that's how we play Patterns Undercover. A really simple game to practice finishing patterns. You can make this game harder um, by doing A, A, B, B patterns, sort of like orange, orange, gray, gray, orange, 
orange, gray, gray. You could make it harder by making harder patterns. You can challenge your children to make patterns for each other, play this with each other. Um, and then after you're done playing patterns undercover and they're finishing your patterns, you can also just invite them to make their own patterns. Remember, this is something you can do with simple household items, even snack. All right, I hope you enjoyed playing patterns undercover with me. Uh, if it went well, you can let me know about it. I would love to hear. If it didn't work, you can tell me about that too. Um, send me a message, shoot me an email. Um, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for joining me for Patterns Undercover. I'll see you next time. Bye.